welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here from what we have here this follows when we have a raised to power m minus n do the same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n so this here this becomes a raised to power x over a raised to power 1 equals to 36 from here the next step we can write this as a raised to power x over a raised to power 1 that's 8 and equals to here we can write this as 36 over 1. Then here we cross multiply as this a raised to power x times 1, same thing as a raised to power x then equals to 36 times 8 here. Then next step here we take the log on both sides. At this here we have log a raised to power x equals to log 36 times 8 from here. Then next step here, we apply the power of logarithm. When we have log m raised to power p, this is the same thing as p log m. That is here, what we have becomes x log 8 then equals to log 36 times 8. Then from here, we divide both sides by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8, which implies here, log 8 cancel each other. We have x left, which is equals to log 36 times 8 divided by log 8. The next step here, this follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 36 plus log 8 all over log 8. Then next step here, we separate this into two fractions. That is, we have x equals to log 36 over log 8 plus log 8 over log 8. And this here, yeah, log 8 cancel each other. We have one left, which implies x equals to log 36 over log 8 plus 1. The next step here, also we can express 36 as 4 times 9, which implies what we have becomes x equals to log 4 times 9 over log 8 plus 1. Then also here, we apply the law of logarithm and all we have becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 9 over log 8 plus 1. Then next step here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 9 over log 8 plus 1 which implies from here we can write 4 as 2 times 2 which is 2 squared then 8 as 2 times 2 times 2 which is 2 raised to power 3 and also 9 as 3 times 3 which is 3 squared and what we have here becomes x equals to log 2 square over log 2 cube then plus log 3 squared over log 2 cube then plus 1. The next step here, we apply the power of logarithm here. 2 comes here, 3 comes here, also from here, 2 comes here, and 3 comes here. And what we have becomes x equals to 2 log 2 over 
3 log 2 close here we have 2 log 3 over 3 log 2 plus 1 that is from here we have log 2 cancelled each order and 2 over 3 left here all we have becomes x equals 2 we can write this one first as 1 plus 2 over 3 then plus here also we can separate this as 2 over 3 multiply by log 3 over log 2 that is from here 1 plus 2 over 3 same thing as 1 over number 2 over 3 which is same thing as 5 over 3 then we can write it as x equals to 5 over 3 plus 2 over 3 log 3 over log 2 then also here when we apply change of this from where we have log a over log b which we can write as log a to base b then what we have here becomes x equals to 5 over 3 plus 2 over 3 log 3 base 2 then here we can bring this as one fraction that this x equals to SCM here that's 3 and here we have 5 plus 2 log 3 base 2 here that is the value of x in this program we have 5 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3 then let's check here if this satisfies the given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 5 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3 then what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 5 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3 then minus 1 here is it equals to 36 on this side that is from here we bring these powers together as one fraction that is we have 1 over 1 here which implies 8 raised to power SEM here that's 3 and here we still have 5 plus 2 log 3 base 2 then minus 3 here now is it equals to 36 on this side which implies here yeah, we have 8 raised to power 5 minus 3 that's 2 that's 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3 is it equals to 36 on this side that is from here we can write it as 2 raised to power 3 which is raised to power 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 then all over 3 is it equals to 36 on this side then this power multiplies and 3 here cancel each other we have 2 raised to power 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 is it equals to 36 on this side then here we apply the law of indices when we have a raised to power n plus n the same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n that is here this becomes 2 raised to power 2 times 2 raised to power 2 log 3 base 2 is equals to 36 from here then 2 squared that's 4 and times here we reverse this 2 from power law that is we have 2 raised to power log 3 square and base 2 is equals to 36 on this side that is here this becomes 4 times 2 raised to power log 3 square that's 9 base 2 is equals to 36 on this side then this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b a. that is this is same thing as 9 4 times 9 is equals to 36 on this side 
the importance now here of course that's 36 which is equals to 36 on this side hence we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that x equals to 5 plus 2 log 3 is 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it some so put your comment see you next class and bye for now